Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how can you turn a Excel spreadsheet into a real working application in Appian and that also in just few minutes. So here you can see that this is a working application in Appian and the Excel file that I have with me is this here IMDB movies list. So this Excel file contains the list of the movies and their different details about the movies as well. For example, the name of the director, the duration, the gross collection, genre, movie title, language, country, budget and their IMDB scores as well. All these values are present in the Excel. What we are going to do here is that we will try to convert this Excel into the Appian application something like this here. So here you can see that the, all the details whatever was present in our Excel everything has been now present in our Appian as well. And this is the complete list total is around 3786 movies and here as well if you see the count it is around the same. Now let's see what are the features of this application. So you can see that here is an action to add a new IMDB movie. So from here we can add a new movie here and let's see that we want to see the summary of this movie. What does this link actually does? So we can click on that link and we will be now landed onto the summary of the link here. So all these details you can see the summary details is all showing whatever was in the grid. This is the subscriber info. These are the actions. If you want to delete the movie, you can delete that movie as well. If you want to update that movie, for example, instead of 143, I will just write 144. Click on save. So once you update the movie here you will be able to see the logs as well audit history so the details have been updated here so here you can see that Vikas Kumar updated the IMDB movie here you can add a comment like this movie has been updated so something like this I want to put click on post here and this comment would get posted here as well so you can see here this movie has been updated is coming and this is completely modular here so you can see that the pagination is also present here in order to show more events as well and from here as well you can update all the movie so this is the summary and in the related actions as well if you want you can access these actions from the related action as well all these actions we are going to see in Appian like how can we convert this Excel into a working application in Appian. So let's now move on to our build mode and try to create this application. So first of all you have to go into your application and here you have to start everything from the record type IMDB movies list. Click on create here. So what it will do here is record type means it will create a record in Appian and at the same time it will create a table in the database as well. So let's open our database here. So here let's try to first of all so this is the database here we will just expand here our tables would get created we will search it tell us about your data and here we will try to create a table from scratch click on next here click on next and here we will just put all the values so see here whatever the column name that is present here everything needs to be same then only this data can get imported directly into Appian otherwise there will be a mismatch so try to make in the same way so whatever the column name that you give here in the camel case everything will get converted into uppercase into database so id is fine so here it is the capital here it can be camel case now director name is there so here we can write instead of this one director name if you write it like this automatically it will get converted in the db like this name here director underscore name and after that there is duration all the values we can keep it text here now after that it is duration so let me just complete all the columns here and then we can see it so now you can see that i have now listed all the fields which we require in the camel case and these values will get automatically converted in the uppercase for the database here and after that let's just click on next here and click on next here 
and here you will be able to see a final preview make sure that this uh, create table is checked here so that it will create a table in the database click on save your change after that the, the record type is successfully updated you can download the database script as well our record type has been created same table if we try to find in our database we would be find it so just write it here yt underscore imdb you can get the name of the table in the table name here and just try to search it so you can see here all this one has been created all the columns id director name duration make sure that everything is in the same what is actually in the excel here after that the next step that we are going to do here is we are going to import that excel file into the database directly so we will go on to our import here and once we have imported it just choose the file this one imdb movie set so first of all make sure to download this file so go to file here go to download and go to csv we will download it as a comma separated value here once it is downloaded here we will now upload this file into our database so you can see here imdb movie set i have uploaded it here after that here the format i am just going to leave it as csv only and i am just going to click on import here once you click on import Okay, so there is an issue here duplicate entry one for primary key so here you can see that actually it has also taken the name of the columns as well that we don't need it okay so let me just go here and truncate this table so truncating the table will reset our sequence as well once again we will try to import it and this time we will make sure to import from the second row onwards we will skip the first row so just go in here choose file it has been added and you can see here there is skip this number of queries from the first one so i just want to skip the first row here and all things are fine click on import here once you try to import let it run for few seconds it will try to import all the data because there is a there is too much of data here around 3700 rows are there so it can take a few time in order to import all those rows and now you can see that all the 3786 query have been executed here go to browse here and you can see that all the data is now present in our database after that what we will do we will go into the sync option and we will sync the record type so that our record type will also contain the same data which is in the database and click on start full sync and it will now start the full sync for your records here and here you will be able to see that how many records have been synced here so and it is saying that sync succeeded go in the sync history and in the sync history you can see that how many rows are now synced with appian so you can see here 3786 records have been synced open this record list here once you open this all this data whatever was in the excel now every data is present in your appian as well and now from here onwards we can start to build our application here so first of all what we have to do in our application we have seen that this is the list that we wanted that we have got it now if you go in the summary of anyone so you can see that this summary page is present there this event history is present here and apart from that the actions are present here how can we design those actions now you can go in the record here first of all let's go in the event history now in the event history you have to click on the generate record types once you click on generate so here you can see that created list updated movies and commented everything will be included here common event types if you want to include something else you can also do that and these are the name of the different event history that will get created so one is the event history then event type is there now this is the reply thread this is the subscriber so uh, all these you can see here these are holding the data for these particular actions which are present on our summary here now click on generate here once you will click on generate all these values will get generated here now you can see that all the different record types have been created here now once your events have been created here if you go in the data model you will see that automatically appian will make relations with these events as well and with the help of that it writes the data in the database as well so in the data model you can see this is the relation so a movie list has one to many relation with the list event and similarly one to many relation with the subscribers as well and here both these relations are listed here 
so first of all we have created the events for our record type the second thing that we are going to do here is we will go in the actions and create our actions here so here you are able to see update and delete actions are present there and even on the home page add action is also there all these will be created from this actions here go to generate your record action and here you can see create update delete if you want to unselect anything you can also do that click on generate the record action now here you can see the record actions are generated successfully so here you can see there is a record list action that is a new imdb movie list if you want to update the name that also you can do that for example if i go here in this edit button and instead of list i just want here new imdb movie that's it and here it will be plus icon this is the description this is the height and width i can uh, manage from here click on done here similarly i can update the names for the related actions as well so always in the record here if you want to add a new entry there will be a record list action and if you want to update or delete any movie there will be a related actions for that click on save it now once your actions part have been done here the next step that we can do here is that we can go on to the views here and in the views we will create a summary view for that so that all these things that we have created we can see in a central place so go in the views and then here you will be able to find generate record view click on generate record view here and here you will be able to see the record list so imdb movie is our parent record type this is the subscriber one click on next and here this is the name of the summary click on next here it will also give you the application in which it is going to create and these are the objects which will either get created or updated click on generate view once you have generated the view here it will generate the summary view and it will attach in the record type as well so you don't have to do anything from your end and here you can see that the summary view have been added here click on save your changes now once you have saved your changes now we will go on to the record type and we will see all the things that we have done here the very first thing we had done was the event history then we have created the actions and now we have created the view here so let's try to refresh our record list once and let's go on to the any movies that we want the record list is updated here so here first of all you can see that new imdb movie so this is the action to add a new movie that you wanted to add so if you try to fill this form a new movie will get added here now let's close this one here and after that let's go on to the link here so you can see the id has a link here click on the first link here and here you will be able to see the complete details here so in the details you can see whatever the details was here which was present on the grid here the subscriber information and let's try to update this movie once so if you try to update this movie instead of 178 let me update 179 click on save here once you try to update the movie here here you will be able to find because updated the imdb movies list if you want to add a comment here let's say like good i just want it here like good movie click on post here so you can post your comment as well if you want to subscribe so you can see here you you will be notified with a email as well if you want to add yourself as a viewer you can also add it as well so all these details that you see here everything we have done here without doing any custom coding here obviously if you want to add some custom components here if you want to customize this application more so this is a good starting point from here onwards you can do much more in your application as well and let's see that this is currently a record list here how can we add a site so that end users can also see that so you have to go into the new and go to the site here and here we will just write it here imdb movie list and here as well so here as well we will write the display name click on create here so this is the site to which the end users can directly interact with your application so here you have to come on to the site here the configuration part we don't need to change anything we have to add our page here so let's just try to add home here and here let's try to add the movie icon and in the type we will select record list here because this is a record list if you even hover over the record it will show you view record list okay and after that we will just 
add the name here yt imdb so it will suggest you the name uh, yt imdb movies list click on add here once you have added it see in the site it is going to show all the details here for customization you can also change the layout to sidebar okay and here you can change the input size to semi medium and rounded it gives a better look and feel for the site click on save your change and now your site is ready to launch and now the changes have been saved click on open your site here and once you have opened it and see your complete site is ready within few minutes we have not done any custom coding for that all these functionalities we have built directly from the record type so this is how powerful records are that if you have some data you can convert that data into a working application within few minutes the summaries you can see here the subscriber information uh, you can see here all the actions everything we have not done any custom coding for that and this is not the only thing the record offers here so we have just explored the data type and the user experience as well we can create custom filters as well here in the security if you go you can add the record level security you can add fill level security and even you can add actions and view security as well so all these things can also be controlled directly from the record type here and that's what make the record so powerful in Appian that it can control the complete entire workflow for your application here. So in this simple way, you can even create your first working application in Appian as well just within few minutes. So let me know if you have any questions or doubts related to that. So that was all for now guys. Thank you.